So aptitude for placements is a complicated relationship. It's just like the relationship that you would have with your ex. Now your ex may be in the past, but aptitude can actually define your future. Now, be it be any product based company like Flipkart, Cisco, Amazon, Google, or it be any service based company like Thesis, Infosys, Wipro, Cognizant, Deloitte, etc. Aptitude is ours, so you need to prepare for aptitude. Fun fact, in product based companies, only the top 10% of the people in the aptitude test, that is the first online test, would go to the interviews. And in service based companies, the top 20% of the people would go to the interviews after the aptitude test. So for example, in TCS, approximately 4 to 5 lakh people apply every year. And just 60 to 65,000 of the people get the chance to attend the interview. So the same is the case with Amazon, more than 1.5 lakh people apply every year and they only interview 10,000 people and roll out offers to only 600, 700 of them. Contrary to popular knowledge, aptitude is not just maths. In fact, if you look at there's quantitative aptitude, there's logical reasoning, there's verbal English, there's visual reasoning, there's data interpretation, there's script arithmetic, and there's game based aptitude test. And some companies also do have a psychometric test as well. So there are multiple categories of aptitude. This is what you need to understand. So if you talk about the important topics in quantitative aptitude, so these would be pipes and systems, speed, time and distance, uh, probability, permutation, combination, LCM, HCF, search and indices, and the others that you can see on screen. And don't worry, all of these resources, where to study from, what to study, what is the important priority, I'll share a resource at the very end of the video or probably two, three minutes from now. So you can have a look at that. But for the time being like right now, just let's have a look on the important topics of individually all of those sections that we spoke about. So when we talk about logical reasoning, the important topics here would be data sufficiency, statements and conclusion, odd man out, syllogism, seating arrangement, number series, coding, decoding, and others that you can see on screen. So when we talk about verbal English, uh, the important topics here would be error identification, sentence ordering, preposition conjunction, subject work agreement, para numbers, tenses, and reading comprehension, and obviously others that you can see on screen. And again, data interpretation basically has line chart, pie chart, bar chart, radar chart, table chart, spider charts, and so on. And then there's visual reasoning, which may have images and figure counting, cube and dices, Venn diagram, directions and distance, and some concepts of verbal reasoning as well. So a few companies have also started another kind of different test, which is called as game based aptitude. A few companies do that. So for example, there's Cape Gemini, there's IBM, and a few others as well. One of those examples of how the test is conducted is you can see on the screen. Now, crypto arithmetic for me is very difficult to explain. It's weird. Uh, the best thing that you can do is probably I'll give in a link of crypto arithmetic page in the description of the video. Have a look on that. You'll understand that from it because verbally to explain crypto arithmetic is, is almost impossible. There are a few companies like eLitmus, Infosys, Cape Gemini that do ask crypto arithmetic as well. Finally, there is a psychometric test. Most of the companies have also started to do a psychometric test. It's very weird to clear a psychometric test because there's no right answer and wrong answer. It's a personality test and they are looking for some personality traits based upon the questions that you're answering. But still, 80% of the people would get rejected in this psychometric test as well. But there's a way that you can fool the psychometric test as well. Uh, we have made a YouTube video of the same. Look at that and we put the link in the video description again. Now, the question is, what's the best resource out there to prepare for aptitude, right? So I'll name two. One is Prepinsta uh, Learn Aptitude section we've created. There's this formula pages, tips and tricks pages, how to solve quickly pages and questions as well that you can practice on the website. Now, a lot of people do also prepare from books like Arun Sharma or R.S. Karan, which is good and amazing. But there's one thing that's very, very important because when you're giving aptitude tests, it's also about time management. So they make you stressed out. Some companies give 25 questions to solve in 20 minutes. Some companies give 30 questions to solve in 30 minutes. So effectively, you need to solve every question between 45 seconds to one minute. That's very difficult. Now to do that, you need to have a look at your speed and accuracy. Now solving it from a book would not be able to help you with that. Either if you have a lot of mock tests or there's one way when you're learning and practicing it. On Prepinsta Prime, we have these topic wise quizzes that probably you can see somewhere on the screen that will tell you how many people chose whichever option so that you can know, you know, how many people are better than you in this question. 
and also time based performance so you get to know how many people did solve that question correctly but solve that question correctly before you so that's the very very important thing that you can do at the time of your preparation now obviously one more thing that i would suggest is uh, if you have prepsa prime subscription or are planning to take a prepsa prime subscription then in the subscription we have courses of aptitude uh, you know quants logical verbal visual reasoning data interpretation script arithmetic game based aptitude psychometric all of those and you get other 200 plus courses as data science machine learning artificial intelligence dsa computer coding there are so many it look like i'm reciting a menu at a dhaba so let me not do that but you know it's pretty amazing make sure that you check prepsa prime now very very important things solve previous year questions now you don't know or you wouldn't know now but you'll realize it after 6 months one year once your placements are completed uh previous year questions are repeated anywhere between 20% to even as high as 80% and in fact it's 100% in some weird companies as well so the questions asked last year they put the same question this year as well so if you are preparing for all of these so these coding questions as well for tests for hacker and hacker of metal and cat two kids etc previous year questions do get repeated and even in companies where they exam for emphasis amazon pcs nqt deloitte etc practice all of these previous year papers first of all you will be able to understand the level of difficulty of any given text and you know some of the questions may even get repeated by you as well now the question is where do you find all the previous year papers so again if you go to prepstar.com you have this dashboard of each and every company you go to menu and you know hover upon any company of your choice and then you will find the syllabus the latest pattern and on each and every section for aptitude you will find all the previous year questions topic wise segregated in a quiz format that will give you all the analytics as well now obviously you are preparing for placement so aptitude is not just it so couple of things one is i've made a video about complete placement preparation as well which you can probably find somewhere on the screen or if not then probably in the description and there's there's one more sheet prepinsta placement preparation roadmap sheet uh it will give you the link to all the important resources that you need to prepare for placements and also a give you a good road map and a daily time table for about 3 months on how you should be preparing for placements and lastly uh there are 6 months that placement season goes on on campus but even after on campus there are 18 months of extra placement season that goes on via off campus hirings and also if you are a prepinsta prime subscriber then we have 300 per 400 plus hiring partners so with the people who complete certain courses we do actually refer them in all of these companies as well so you have like uh, three places where you get job opportunities on campus off campus and prepinsta prime if you are a prime subscriber now at the very end uh, if you have any questions so i have like 120k followers on instagram and and i want to increase it by a little bit so probably you increase it by one you can follow me there and if you have any questions you can dm me i reply to each and every message that i get on my instagram it becomes uh, a little difficult for me but i do tend to do that for all the people who message me so you can do that and make sure that you subscribe to prepinsta's youtube channel because we make amazing videos and it's your placement going on so now we'll help you in a bit